Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, as you might have guessed, doing a bit of work on the BMW. Um, Emma T ran out a few weeks ago, we've just been sat here since then. So today, we're going to go through and do a few bits of needs. Uh, so let's crack straight on and we'll inform you as we go. So the first thing we know we need to do on the Beamer is the brakes. Just trying to take the wheel off currently, because it sees to the hub, as always. Brute force. Oh, here we go. A bit of kicking's done it. There we go. All right, so you can see it's been sat for a little bit. Quite crusty, what the pad's like. Don't know, I'll get them off in a minute anyway. We've got the parts that we're doing it. Uh, we'll just give the tire a quick look over. Looks all right, actually. Plenty of tread on it. Not illegal anyway, so that's, that's all we need. Right, so we've got both wheels off now, all jacked up. Have a little look at things. It's quite old and crispy, the old caliper and the old back plate. Um, got a new tool that hopefully make this a bit easier. So it's an impact wrench, it's only a little diddy one. Um, hopefully we've got enough torque to undo stuff, otherwise it's uh, going to be pretty useless for me. Well, that worked quite nicely, didn't it? So you can see you got the caliper hanging from our uh, cable tie rather than the uh, hose. Slide pin little cover is a bit worse to wear there. So let's see if we can replace these slide pins anyway. Regrease them. Well, the bottom one is not even attached on the one side, probably because there's lots of crap in the channel. The brake discs look okay. A little bit of a lip on there, but not bad enough for an MOT failure. Give all this a clean up with a wire brush on a on a drill and the pads so these were advised last year for being allowed they look all right there's no no unusual signs of wear there's no sort of silly angles um look at that one they're all, all wearing pretty flat as well right then so here's the other side obviously just as crusty on there that's why they had to get the wheel off um no leaks on the hose anywhere that i can see up there, no splits or anything. They, they all look actually all right. Anti roll bars looking a bit worse for wear. That's all right. That's only paint. Um, the arms looking a bit rusty. Shame really, they were really shiny when they went on. Obviously. Not ideal, that little bit of rust there, but we can ignore that for now, like we always do. Just a little bit of rust there, you can see. Oh yeah, a little bit of metal that's just come off when I picked it, but never mind. So, the actual caliper. Let's start with, just take the caliper off. Got a little gunny. So nice, so nice and easy. So you go hanging by the cable ties, this little wire going through, so it clips in just there. You can see, ah, oh. oh, yeah. So the wire's actually gone through, we'll take it out. So here we go, here's the uh, connector to the car loom for the warning sensor. I assume they just pull out. Oh, there we go. So that's the car side, and this pad should just come out. As as, yeah, there we go. On the BMW, there's this little bit of plastic that goes in. You can see there. It just has this wire going around it. I'll compare it to a new one in a second. Um, and obviously, as the pad wears down, that snaps. And that breaks the circuit, and that makes the car inside uh, the light inside the uh, the car turn on. So it's very simple. That just clips into the pad. So I got a new one of that, and everything. Um, that's the old pads. I'd say that, you know, they need changing now, but I mean, they'd probably last me another year, the amount I drive this car, to be honest. That one looks all right, no one even wear. No weird marks on the disc. Let's just see where it's a bit old and, and sat outside for a few weeks. Obviously, someone has been in here before and rounded these off, which is nice. 
so we'll have that to drill out at some point and um, give those a good cleaning so yeah obviously the piston i didn't look around look, looks okay to me yeah uh, obviously just dirty but not leaking there's no residue anywhere on here none around the back either um yes yeah, so that absolutely fine just crusty yeah the story of this car right so a little update um couldn't get any sliders nearby so i've got some on ebay they're coming in a couple of days so the bmw is going to be sat like this for a little bit there you go on his axle stands like a proper project car now we're going to be doing something else today which i think this bit here the old front lip you know i remember i bought that spare one um, it's in the spare room which my girlfriend hates um, so we're going to fit it that's what we're going to do so we've had one on here before um, and I'm pretty sure these little plastic clips all failed so I think we're going to look at cable tying it on this time I've just been looking at how to get these uh, clips out oh, I can ignore our bits of rust there right move that out of the way these clips uh, there's a couple of pushings like either side I think um, it's really hard to see actually so maybe I need to go get my little pick or a little tiny screwdriver just to push up into these and I think then they'll come out oh yeah there we go there's one that camera's definitely in the way two there we go so we just pull them down and those come out um, I was going to hold it over the top and that'll give me some idea of where to drill a couple of pilot holes anyway. Right, so I've done a couple of holes. Hopefully I can get my cable ties through those. I'm just going to replicate this all the way along the uh, bumper. And then probably just cable tie just around there to the actual body itself. Uh, not even using these bits, I think. It's probably our best bet. Let's carry on drilling. So I've just been holding this over where it would go. And then just... <laughs> on the inside of the bumper so nothing will be seen from the outside right so I've got all the clips out I'm going to start by cable tying uh, through the actual splitter or front lip that's probably my best place to start so I'll probably just go in from underneath so doing this one handed is a bit of a pain uh, but it does seem possible so I'm just going to start with them at that length obviously the more I get on then I can tighten them all up get them in position Right, so you can see I've cable tied all the way along, apart from this one, because I've actually run out of cable ties. So we'll start tightening them. Right, so this is cable tied on now. Obviously the corners could have come out a bit more, but when you cable tie, there's a bit of a lip on the inside, but it pulls them in. But, see the rest of it, actually looks okay. Obviously got the same problem again on this corner here, so you can probably see it from, from there. There's like a bit of a lip that pulls it sort of inside. Um, which I'm sure I could get around but anyway that's the front lip and the girlfriend will be happy that that is no longer in the front room push both sides in push that bit in and there we go we've had the delivery right so here's the old sliders the one we're removing obviously they're pretty uh Pretty crusty, probably be alright if you just grease them, but don't worry. We've got this from Big Red Brake Caliper Components. Come to live today. Whole bag nicely packaged, new rubbers, uh, a little bit of grease. We'll see some new bolts as well. So we're replacing these now. And then we can get the beamer back on the road. Alright, so we've got our katsu quality tools as always there you go absolutely perfect there go on then you bastards there we go line it all up at least start pressing this in see it moving in lovely 
used to do this with a big pair of pliers. Good nightmare. There you go, that's all pressed in now. Loosen off our tool. So now I'm going to be looking at uh, putting in the new sliders. So first of all, make sure they're the same. Uh, these ones have actually got a bit bigger head on them. Uh, which is probably a good thing. You're nice and easy to hold on to anyway. Uh, anyway, so we'll just put a little bit of grease on there. Obviously Big Red has supplied some. I don't know how much we need. Um, so we're doing four, aren't we? So there we go. Put that on there. Just use my hand for now. Obviously, don't do that if you don't want. Try and get this little bit of rubber on, of course. Could be an absolute nightmare now, wouldn't it? I covered it in grease. Right then, both the uh, new sliders are in. Nicely sliding. Um, it's going to fit up the pads now to the caliper. And then we can slide that on, bolt it all back together, hopefully. Right, so on this side, remember I mentioned the, uh, the old brake pad warning? Just simple wire system on the old one. Um, that's how it actually comes, got a new one here. Just clips into the pad. So it looks like both our pads are uh, identical. So it doesn't actually matter which one it goes in. But to fit it, let's so get our pad here. And he just presses in that little bit there, just like that. Gonna give this a wire brushing. Um, then we're gonna put a little bit of copper slip on it, a little copper grease, just so it doesn't seize to the wheel again. Obviously, before I'd kick the wheel off to get it off. Um, so to do that, I would usually use a bit of a wire brush. Um, going up market this time. We got the old drill brush on. A bit lazy of me. Poor GoPro. Right, so given that a bit of a wire brush, just going to go around the actual hub bit there. It's a little bit rough, um, but that is looking a lot better already. There's still a few bits which I might try and get off where it's obviously been touching the wheel. Right, there we go, that's looking a lot nicer now. Uh, on there, a little less crispy. Um, so, give it all a little bit of a, you know, spray old brake cleaner. Make sure there's no more dust on there. So we can actually leave that down for now. While we put our pads in, it makes it a little bit easier. These pads don't have any retaining clips, just got these spring clips here. Yeah, and there we have uh, two new pads. It just needs to tighten up the caliper now. And obviously, plug this back into uh, where it wants to go. Plug this back in, back up to its connector over there somewhere. And yeah, one side done. All right, so there we go. Now I've got the all the bolts in, all tightened up. This is a bit of movement back and forth for now on the sliders because we haven't uh, pushed the piston out into the pads. Right, so we're done working on the beamer now. We've done the front brakes, new sliders in the calipers, gave it all the wire brush, uh, a bit of copper slip on there before we put the wheels on. And we've done the front lip. Down at the front. 60 quid for this eBay lip. Quite impressed with it, really. For 60 quid. Thanks for joining me today, guys. Next time, we might be doing the bumper. You never know, I've got the part now. It's inside the flat. Girlfriend loves these things just laying around. But if you enjoyed the video and you made it this far, Make sure you drop a comment down below or a like and subscribe if you're not already. Catch you next time guys.